You're broken down and tired of living life on the merry-go-round. You can Hi you guys, it's Kathy from Fitter is Funner, and today is Wednesday, Watch Your Thoughts. And you know, I really want to talk to you about something that's really dear to my heart and something that is a little bit more of an epidemic than we actually like to talk about. And I don't want to get all serious on um, topics, but on Wednesday, Watch Your Thoughts, the things that I do know in my 25 plus years as a fitness practitioner and wellness life coach is that our bodies are made in the kitchen. Our minds are lifted in the gym. Nutrition is our prescription. Motion is lotion in your body. I know these things. And while we may implement every single one of these amazing attributes to our full circle of wellness, Sometimes that's not even enough because of chemical imbalances in our frontal cortex in different spaces in our brain and the way our little computers work from bipolar to every kind of emotional and mental issue that we can talk about. And we're all touched by it in some way. And with Suicide Prevention Month coming up in September, there's a very dear, dear, beautiful person in my life, my niece, Carly, who took her life not very long ago. And for all of you who are mothers, aunties, uncles, um, sisters, brothers, um, fathers, grandparents, of somebody that this horrific, very unthinkable, and very difficult to talk about topic happens, it takes you to another space where it hurts so much you can't even put words to it. So I want to bring to light the fact that after everything we've done, sometimes that's not enough. But what I do know is that we never know what just one simple conversation can do to help somebody else who's silently suffering. So for my Carly Ray Wilson, who I will love till the end of time, I want to give you this shout out while you expressed so much emotional turmoil that you were going through um, as a cheerleader and a fly girl, um, an incredible soccer player, hurdler, oh my gosh, tumbler, gymnast. You are talking about a beautiful young girl who attended Oceanside High School, who you could look at and say you have it all, an amazing family, an amazing mom and dad and a brother that was so loving and compassionate to, to Carly. We don't know where paths are gonna cross and where lives will end, but we do know one thing, that if we can implement the whole wellness circle of all those things I just talked about, and at the end of the day, make sure we smile at people and ask deeper questions. How are you doing? Baby, I feel something's going on with you. Talk to me and be relentless relentless lay by the side of their bed tickling their back until they talk to you so we're going to watch our thoughts because between these two ears sometimes we are our worst enemy and if you happen to have a daughter a granddaughter yourself a son um, some beautiful child that you adopted that has the tendency to go so deep into their own mind to get so caught up in their own thoughts 